10th of the year 2010, fourth work day of the week, the day that we shall call a Wednesday. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 292 of the year 2010. Jesus warns against religious leaders. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down on your pad and paper so you can go back and study the whole lesson at your own time setting. And I also suggest you can use the pause button down here in the corner so that you can start and stop this video lecture at your own leisure. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into Jesus warns against religious leaders. To do that, we'll go to Matthew chapter 23, verses 1 through 12. Also in Mark chapter 12, verses 38 through 40. And Luke chapter 20, verses 45 through 47. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, you would think these Jewish leaders and those Pharisees were Moses, the way they keep making up so many laws. And of course you should obey their every whim. It may be all right to do what they say, but above anything else, don't follow their examples. For they don't do what they tell you to do. They load you with impossible demands that they themselves don't even try to keep. Everything they do is done for show. They act holy by wearing on their arms little prayer boxes with scripture verses inside and by lengthening their memorial fringes on their, of their robes and how they love to sit at the head of their table at banquets and in the reserved pews in the synagogue. How they enjoy the difference paid them on the streets and to be called rabbi and master. Don't let anyone call you that, for only God is your rabbi. And all of you are on the same level as brothers. And don't address anyone here on earth as father, for only God in heaven should be addressed like that. And don't be called master, for only one is your master, even the Messiah. And more lowly your service to others, the greater you are. To be the greatest, be a servant. But those who think themselves great should be disappointed and humbled. And those who humble themselves shall be exalted. The little prayer boxes called phylacteries contain scripture verses. Very religious people wore these boxes on their forehead and arms in order to obey Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 8 and Exodus chapter 13 verses 9 and 16. But the power, oh, pardon me, but the prayer boxes had become more important for the status they gave them for the truth they contained. Merch, make sure they match. Jesus again exposed the hypocritical attitudes of the religious leaders who knew the scriptures but did not live to by them. The Pharisees' tradition and their interpretations and applications of law had become as important to them as God law itself. The laws were not all bad. Some were beneficial. Usually Jesus did not condemn what the Pharisees taught, but what they were, hypocrites. They did not care about being holy, just looking holy in order to receive the people's admiration and praises. Today, like the Pharisees, many people who know the Bible do not let it change their lives. They say they follow the teachings of Jesus but they do not live by his standards of love. Make sure that your actions match your belief. Our need for daily prayer. Give thanks to you with my whole heart and sing praises 
to your name for your loving kindness and your truth. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Hallelujah, for the Lord is omni-important reigns. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dwelt bountifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. Teach me thy way, O Lord. Psalms chapter 86 and verse 11 reads, Teach me thy way. O Lord, brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, here we are in the middle of the week. The Bible says the midst of the week. Are you trying to follow the Lord? Do you get into his word daily? and check to see what he says? Or do you pay attention to the tradition of men and follow their way? As Christ said, all their ways aren't bad, but all their ways are not true. Follow the Lord. And if you want to follow the Lord, get down on your knees and repent and ask the Father and the Son for forgiveness for not following. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for the day. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.